Welcome to Gable Kennels here in Wickford in Essex, the training base of Romford trainer Martin Wiley. We're just a stone's throw from Paul Young's kennels just down the lane there. And it's been a changeable time at Romford and a difficult time for some of the trainers, but right now there is a lot of positivity around the Essex track. There's obviously major investment in Romford at the moment and you know we're all waiting in anticipation to see the end result. Uh, work is now starting to pick up pace and you can see each time you go to the track that they're doing more and the general feeling amongst the owners is that it's pretty positive. It hasn't suited everyone winning new race times but in general the, the feeling is pretty, pretty positive around Romford. That said, do you think there are some really big challenges facing the sport, things that you're experiencing? Yeah, I, I think um, there's real challenges in the sport um, because of funding and it's not necessarily where people think the funding should go. Uh, I think society as a whole has changed and put more value on free time and more value on job satisfaction and as a greyhound trainer um, I can't necessarily always offer that to new recruits so I think staff retention is a major issue in, in greyhound racing and I think the funding needs to be there perhaps not to pay the staff that are there more but that would be nice but it's actual for each kennel to be able to get more staff to make the hours that the, the staff we've all got do less and get feel more rewarded and more valued out of the job they do. At, at the moment, um, what we have to offer is, you know, a full-on really hard week with evening racing and weekend. It's not attractive to most people, and you have you have to find a real special group of people to want to do it. I'm lucky I have, but you know, with the increasing demands of these, the hours on the new contracts, it's becoming harder and harder to attract that sort of people. You do have a really nice team of staff here though, and they're looking after around 120 dogs. And I guess another challenge facing the sport is obviously the homing, my speciality, and 31 retired dogs here of your 120, that's incredible. Yeah, uh, you know, it's not ideal. I'd much rather see them into homes. We've rehomed through various different kennels, various different schemes, 44 last year. Um, which you know we're, we're quite pleased at, but we've still got another 31 to go. Now, to be fair, out of that 31, there's 10 or 12 there that are old house guests and won't go anywhere, and you know we, we'd like to keep them about. But there's still some there that you know we're desperately looking for homes for. May's Highland Reel has been a great success story for you in recent years, particularly winning the Crayford Gold Collar last year. Is that your best night in the sport as a trainer? Yes, I mean it's the most successful night in the sport as a trainer. We had the privilege of looking after her for what turned out to be a short career uh, because of injury. But, you know, we're, we're looking forward to her. She's just uh, been mated to Godsend. So, you know, we're looking forward to hopefully having some pups in January out of her and starting that legacy again. And you were telling me she's got great breeding lines. Yeah, she's re really well bred. Um, and she comes from a great uh, breeding kennel out in Ireland. So, we're, you know, we're just looking forward to furthering that uh, and hopefully adding, adding to it and you know uh, so exciting times ahead for her and us. Lots of puppies here we're going to uh, mention a couple of litters you've got that you're, you're quite excited about. Yeah we, we've, um, we've been rearing uh, pups for other people as well as doing a few uh, of our own that we've bought in uh, as babies. We always like to have pups here because it, it, it's part of the job that I really enjoy but we've got um, six black pups uh, out of Bally Brown Mike and Gary Scolari that are shaping up really well on the schooling track and ones that are just slightly older out of Bally Mike, Vic and Comfy Snowy, they, they look to be going very well. It's all very early stages in the schooling um, but you know they, they look to be shaping up quite nice, nice well, well built litters. And uh, some youngsters here, real youngsters as well, that could have uh, big futures ahead of them. Let's talk about uh, Knocked Off Declan first. He's uh, flown around one, but the puppy cop just came a little bit too soon. Yeah, for the, we, we, we managed to uh, secure a deal on getting he, him uh, a little bit too close to the puppy cup, to be honest. Um, we, we had to rush through the paperwork, rush through his trials, and ne never really was able to afford him the time to settle in like we would like. Um, and he, he did okay in the puppy cup, he got to the semi-final, but we've had to find that we've just had to dial it back a little bit, put him into graded company, 
and you know once we've made it a little bit easier he's found a little bit of form as he settled in he did a 2402 in his last uh, a1 which you know as everyone knows is a fairly good time around romford so we're looking forward to what he can deliver over the next couple of months and certainly a dog that will be running friday nights we would think on rpg tv but potentially one you might travel with yeah absolutely you um sort of the kennel motto is we don't mind going anywhere with any dog as long as it's a genuine prospect at a win um, I'm not I'm not one for traveling with, with dogs that genuinely haven't got much chance so I don't really uh, like taking a a two's a one dogs around to, to opens because the class of the dogs that are running open are just too good to do that so yeah we are looking forward to having a, a certainly a spring summer campaign with some of the dogs and puppies that we've got available to go going around doing some open racing and another one of those might well be kill Duff Macca who is uh, very young indeed and uh, you know another great prospect for you not been straightforward so far has it? no he's, he's he's had a bit of a rocky road to start with we had kennel sickness and he caught it quite badly and and it's been pretty rough and we've just started him on the road back and he, he's done a sprint and a, a good trial around Romford for where he's at at the moment. We expect more of him. Um, he's got some nice Irish format dog so we, we expect him to come forward. And then Maze Primrose here as well, what a striking bitch she is. She's out of uh, Maze Massacre, the same bitch as Maze Highland Real and uh, she's destined to be a stayer but you can tell that now even though she's very very young. You she's, think she could be a great stayer. She's very very young but she's screaming out stayer. We also have two of her little sisters here as well. Um, but at the moment she seems to be the better one but it's still very early days. She's not even completed her, her trial requirements to, to grade on yet but she's she's going particularly well for such a young baby. She's done a 24-50 and marching onto the pickup. Um, you know, we we will literally be biding time to get her to an appropriate age to try it over a little bit further distance. So she'll be gaining an experience in a distance that doesn't particularly suit her. But you know, hopefully by the time we get her to the, the five seven five, she'll have gained all, all she needs to know. What a story! Maze Monoline broke a hock at Brighton just 18 weeks ago. Had two screws fitted by Stefano the vet, and is already coming back, which is amazing. Yeah, uh, we. We've worked very hard at the rehab, you, you know, followed all the, the veterinary advice that we could and paid uh, particular attention. It hasn't all, all been plain sailing with, with the rehab, but it's gone well. He's had two sprints um, and on his last sprint, it was only a length off his best sort of time anyway. Um, he's a staying dog. We won't be rushing it. It's, it's still, you know, we're still very early on in the recovery sort of process and training. But, you know, we, we would hope to have him back maybe for spring you know, running competitively again. Amazing. You've been training in your own right for about 10 years now. What, what's the ambition? Well, that's a really good question. Uh, my ambition would be is to, to, to be honest, not personal, but to have an industry that, you, you know, really values trainers and staff and we can get out of the, the idea that kennel staff are not skilled workers they are i've been an advocate of the the qualification system way back when we first sort of looked at it with the mvqs but it needs to mean something that they can take it somewhere to a meaningful job no one wants to get qualified in a job that means nothing and until the industry as a whole recognizes the value of kennel hands it's not going to change and there needs to be an increase in funding for for kennel staff because they're the one that keep the industry turning over.